Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It is pretty common knowledge that flat rides are generally a bit worse than tracked rides. This begs the question though, what is the worst flat ride in the game and why is it the space rings? Before I tell you why, I want to let you know that I now have a subreddit which is r slash Marcel Vos, link in the description. Feel free to post rollercoaster tycoon content and memes related to my videos and livestreams there. Alright, on with the video. Firstly, let's see what flat rides are in the game. The answer to this can be a bit tricky as some rides blur the line between a flat ride and a tracked ride. With this I specifically mean the four tower rides and the maze. For the sake of this video I don't count them as flat rides. Not that that really matters as they're all a lot better than the space rings anyway. This leaves a total of 17 flat rides of which 9 are gentle rides and the other 8 are thrill rides. We can immediately discount the thrill rides as they generally have higher stats, a higher throughput and attract more guests than gentle rides. On the remaining 9 gentle rides we're going to do a variety of tests. The first test is throughput. Here I have a park where I let every gentle flat ride run at its maximum throughput for one in-game year. After that I wrote down how many customers they all had in that year and here are the results. As you can see, the Space Rings is by far the worst with only 232 customers, almost a factor 2 fewer than the second worst. As a comparison, even a fairly long coaster with only a single train, like this Neptune's Knot, can process about 1000 guests a year. Some of these flat rides could have a higher throughput if you let more guests on at once or if you lower the number of rotations, but the most important thing is that the space rings cannot. You can lower its throughput by lowering the number of rings, but you cannot increase it. This shows that even at its very best, against other rides that are not at their best, the space rings loses big time. The next test is the profitability of the ride. This is how much you can charge for each flat ride. RCT2 Vanilla and OpenRCT2 are quite a bit different for rides under 13 months old, but that doesn't really matter as in all versions the order is the same. Once again, the Space Rings loses as you can charge the least for it. With this we can calculate the profitability of the ride, for which I will use the open RCT2 numbers. The maximum profit a ride makes in a year is the maximum throughput multiplied by the maximum ticket price minus the operating cost. If we do this for all gentle flat rides we get these numbers. While the better ones can make up to a few thousand euros a year, the space rings doesn't even crack the 200 a year and it is by far the worst. Add to this the cost of the mechanics you need to inspect and fix it and the occasional downtime and it barely makes any money. So far we've seen that the space rings is pretty much useless when it comes to making money. But how does it fare in pay for entry parks where the rides are free? Well, it's a bit better, but it's not much better. Every ride attracts a certain number of guests to your park and the Space Rings is near the bottom of this list as well with 30. Only the Haunted House and Crooked House attract fewer guests. The Space Rings is rather cheap to build and easy to spam, so it is better than a ride like the Haunted House in that situation. However, there is one more thing that easily makes the Space Rings the worst flat ride in the game, and that is its nausea rating. With standard configurations, all gentle flat rides have a nausea rating under 1, with the highest being the spiral slide at 0.9. The one exception to this is the Space Rings, which has a slightly higher nausea rating of 6.5. This is truly absolutely insane. In fact, there is even only one thrill flat ride that has a higher nausea rating, which is the Enterprise. 
To show you how much vomit this causes, I created this setup. On the left are 8 merry-go-rounds and on the right are 8 space rings. I left the park running with all rides at their maximum throughput for one month and hired no handyman. At the end of the month this was the state of the pass. There are a few piles of vomit around the merry-go-rounds while the path around the space rings is an absolute battlefield. This can severely hamper your park rating if you don't make sure that the path around the space rings gets cleaned very often. In conclusion, the space rings is a cheap flat ride that barely makes any money and makes all the guests sick. It is probably not a great idea to build them, yet I will continue to do so anyway because I like the way they look. Speaking of liking things, if you liked this video consider giving it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh,